What is a cult? You don't need to answer that question because I already know. I joined one. You saw the title of this video, you're probably like, oh, that's an exaggeration. No. If you've been following my videos for the past month, you know that I've been uploading a series where I went on a van trip with my friends Zara, Aiden, Janice, and Paul. Before I tell you this story, let's get on the same page about what a cult is. First of all, most cults have one leader, a person that all the money gets funneled to, because most of the time when you're starting a cult, it's for the money. A lot of cults also have a doomsday clause to it, which is like, hey, the world's gonna end, and you're on the wrong side of it. So that's why a lot of cults end up mass unaliving themselves. You probably have heard of the drinking the Kool-Aid story or the children of God or the angels landing, but I'm not sure you've heard of the 12 tribes. Let me start where we started though. I have this friend named who said he had visited a cult before. And I was like, oh, no you haven't. He had. A year ago, me and my two friends decided to go up to Vermont for a snowboarding trip. And by the time we get there, it's like maybe 11 at night. So we were really hungry. My friend finds this one place called the Yellow Deli. And they give us like free tea to start. They like, you know, they warm us so up like, oh, where'd you come from? Blah, blah, blah. And so at this point, I'm like, hold up. The customer service is great. The food is great. The decor is great. Where's the catch here? While I was going to the bathroom, I saw this restaurant had free calendars and on the calendar, it said, a new day is coming. Join the revolution. I was like, for a deli? Like, this is a huge operation, bro. For a deli? Like, I started asking questions. We're like, what do you guys do? Like, what is this place? We're called the 12 tribes of Israel. We believe in Yahshua. When we join the community, everyone changes their names. So we all get Hebrew names. I knew this guy was on some shit. So I was like, let's, ask, let's actually get to something interesting. So I was like, what is your stance on vaccines? <laughs> and he said, it's an act of Satan. <laughs> the 12 Tribes was founded by Albert Eugene Spriggs in 1972. It originally started because him as well as other hippies were upset that the hippie movement sucked. The 12 Tribes is very secretive. A couple YouTubers have infiltrated it only as of recently, but they hide everything about the 12 Tribes behind the Yellow Deli. Because the Yellow Deli is this phenomenal restaurant, but the 12 Tribes is the cult. The Yellow Deli has over 3,000 members worldwide and locations from New York all the way to Japan and Australia. And 50 years later, only really as of recent, the 12 Tribes have been making a lot of headlines. Headlines about child abuse. Headlines about hating all gay people. Headlines about uh, them sacrificing 144,000 virgins. But no way, that couldn't be true. I needed to figure it out for myself. There happened to be a yellow deli on our way to upstate New York when we were hunting Bigfoot, and so we stopped by. <laughs> there was a super creepy old lady who spoke like this. We live together and share everything in common. Oh, really? Yeah. Together. And immediately I was like, yeah, this is probably a cult, but I have no freaking way of knowing that for sure. We took a bunch of their pamphlets and materials and we ordered, quite frankly, the most delicious food I've ever tasted in my entire life. I downed that food so fast, I didn't even like consider that it could be poisoned. It wasn't, but I'm saying like I had no cares in the world. Anyways, that night we- Debrief time. <laughs> what do you guys think of the Yellow Deli? It was definitely a cult. She seemed nice, but it was also really scary. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. You're nice. Oh, it's so nice to meet you guys. And then as we were about to leave New York, we stopped by another Yellow Deli location. They're everywhere. The big secret they're hiding is like what goes on intricately like with the communities. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow, going to this other Yellow Deli might be our best chance at getting a sit down interview with them. At the second location, we had a plan. We cut open a bee pillow pet and turned it into a makeshift spy camera. Oh. Scalpel. <laughs> I'll be uh, the 12 tribes and you be you. Welcome to the 12 tribes. This is a really cute pillow pet. Do you be children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it'll work. I think it will work. This obviously didn't work, but we tried it anyways. <laughs> Right before we headed in, a Yellow Deli employee started banging on our van window. Uh, you ever been in the Yellow Deli? I have no, not. No. Oh, you gotta come in and see our artwork. No. We were just about to try to find somewhere to eat. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, you're in the right place. Come up and see us. That was terrifying, but despite that, we headed in.
that was uneventful. It was kind of just like good food. But we got invited to come back. <laughs> so yeah, they invited us back for dinner that night alone, privately. And we didn't have like any spy equipment. So I rush ordered a little spy camera, like a pen that I put in my little pocket. It was really shitty. So we're stopping at this library to uh, figure out what our actual plan is for tonight because we can't just go in and not have a plan to, you know, get the content. Okay, I think it's recording right now. Test it and say something. Hey, so. I beat my children every day of my life, and I'm virgin. The plan was perfect. Right. Hey Anthony, explain what's going on. All right, so we're about to go into the Yellow Deli. Uh, they invited us for dinner, but they have no idea that we're going to be secretly recording. I'm a bit nervous, I'm, I'm not gonna nervous. lie. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be fun. They're so nice, what's gonna happen? Zara's getting converted. <laughs> like one, one, two, two three. three. Question crew. crew. Okay. Oh. How many of you guys are here right now? Oh, uh, three. Three! Yep, yeah, that's it. The small talk only lasted about five minutes and then immediately we were talking about Bible verses. In John chapter 10, verse 16, that really compares people to sheep a lot. To bring judgment to our thoughts and our desires and our motivations and to be what we think is a normal human. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's pretty deep. See, now this is usually the part where I'd make fun of Janice for saying that's pretty deep after that guy just went on a 15 minute tangent about Judgment Day. But uh, I honestly can't think of a better response. So good job, Janice. We're eternal beings, like even the evil ones. Everyone, no matter who they are, they're going to be given a new body, an eternal body, like man was meant to have in the beginning. That was like a line of dialogue straight out of a video game. But they did make a promise to us. If we ever went to another Yellow Deli location, they would let us stay the night. If you ever want to do work or stay on a farm, we got lots of farms. One week later, right before we stayed at the most haunted house in America, we got the green light. We called them ahead of time and told them we were travelers looking for a place to stay and we wanted to do work to stay. And... Hey, Yeah, sure, we'd love to if you guys still have the accommodations. Plymouth is the biggest yellow is deli. It, so that's like their like hive HQ. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of nervous. Yeah, I'm also, nervous also I'm like, oh man, we gotta work the entire day. Yeah, we also just do labor, you know? <laughs> and after we got our new arsenal of spy gear, we were ready to go. One of us can keep this, and if anyone sees like the perfect place to put it, just Okay, well, it's kind of... One, two, three, question crew! Immediately, they split all four of us off, except for Zara and Janice, who would refuse to leave each other's side, and I just started talking to people. Throughout the workday, I didn't find that crazy conversation I was looking for, just more of the same. People talking about how vaccines were the work of the devil, uh, but to be honest, I could probably find somebody saying that at like Cracker Barrel, so it wasn't that crazy. There was over 60 people that worked at this freaking restaurant, so I just kept making my way around and asking people questions. Most of my day was uneventful, I just ended up literally working. But it's okay, because everybody else ended up working too. So our plan was to work at the Yellow Deli during the day, and then at night, we were gonna get invited to their community home. It's a big house where literally all of them live. They share everything, and that includes money. Nobody gets money here. It's all just going straight into the Commonwealth. The whole Commonwealth thing is actually complete bullshit. You're not making anything, you don't make any money, but you can't take out anything either. And when you join the cult, they really try to make this like sense of one identity because you lose your name, you lose all your clothes, you lose all your assets. Before we went back to the community home, we were invited to a little meeting. At the meeting, you got to voice your own religious beliefs and personal life philosophies. So I knew this was a great opportunity to try to get them to say some absolutely heinous shit. And holy shit did I. We don't, we don't believe in slavery, but that's not a good sentence to say, but after. We know of people whose grandparents were slaves and for generations, and they loved it. The anger that surrounded the Black Lives Matter movement was uh, powerful. There was a powerful force of prejudice in Germany in the 1920s and th 30s directed towards the Jewish people, and a politician picked up on it and took it somewhere, and it became an international tragedy 
and we stand by our way, uh, our life of love and care for others. He just compared BLM to Nazi Germany, but it's okay because they stand by their life of love and care for others. But let's be real, this isn't too far off of like what you'd hear at like a Trump rally. So I wanted more. And oh boy, would I get it. Bro, what the <laughs> is going on? <laughs> that was the longest day I've had in my entire life. That's what I'm saying. Man, I'm so tired. <laughs> Just asking, so when did you guys join? <laughs> What's the <laughs> day, man? I don't care. <laughs> so we had two options at this point. Did we cut our losses and go home because this is terrifying, or did we go to the community home? Of course, we went to the community home. At 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. every single day, they have a gathering where they praise Yahshua. Yahshua is their Jesus. Uh, in fact, it is just Jesus, but spelled differently. It's the dinner board. Nope, that was the cult meeting board. And this was the most insane shit I've ever seen. Listen, I'm not one to knock any crazy activities. You know, I, I grew up in the Catholic Church. We used to sing lots of weird songs, and I used to have to kneel and pray. But singing and dancing in a circle with a headband down, talking about how uh, the end days are coming is pretty scary. I did see a mom and her son walk out, and as I was passing to go to the bathroom, I think I heard her hitting him. Like, as we were walking down, there was a kid crying. And like, I was hearing like whipping noises. No way. I was on the lookout during the gathering about like how many parents were like bringing their kids Get outside. Out, yeah, yeah. And it happened like 10 yeah, times. And there were kids screaming, like hollering in the hallway. Like I kept hearing that. I wasn't able to get any of this on video proof. So I'm just gonna say all of this is alleged. And if I get sued, uh, this is all a joke and I faked everything. But in addition to that, I got the final piece of evidence that I've been wanting this whole time. We got a late night car ride from this dude in a white van, which sounds suspicious and it is. We're joining a cult, what do you expect? And even though he wasn't supposed to, he revealed the 12 tribes' biggest secret. It's hidden from most. We're looking forward to bringing about an age of peace where the earth is totally made new and Yahshua is gonna come back and he's gonna rule the earth. Do you have any idea when that will be? Yes. Amazingly enough, like 48 years until the end. Yeah. Until, <laughs> until the last trumpet. When Yahshua arrives, and what does that mean for us? Well, for the 12 tribes, we're being prepared as a bride for him. That's the politically correct way of saying you're going to unalive yourself. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That night, we went to bed. We gave this little gift, and the gave us a little card. I slept on the most uncomfortable bunk bed I've ever slept on in my entire life, and I've never been so afraid of being murdered in my sleep, but at least Aiden would also probably be murdered at the same time, so that was comforting, I guess. We woke up, and then we praised Yahshua again, and then we left because I was being terrified. I put my key in the ignition for the van and Zara's taking a shit. Mm -hmm. She has to take a faster shit. Tell her she can shit in the van. I want to get out of here. Get in the car! <laughs> God, I want to get out of here! I like that. No, you don't. I they're do they're gonna that. kill themselves in 48 okay. years! But yeah, I still get calls from them like once a month and they think I'm just some random guy. But no, I went in there with a bunch of spy gear and lavalier microphones, so. Sorry guys if you're watching this. But um yeah. I was a little unsure if they were legitimately a cult. But they're they a cult. Were so nice. It doesn't matter if they're so nice. Yes, sir, why are you being brainwashed? You're literally being, you're being brainwashed. You're what being brainwashed. What are you saying? Snap the fuck out of it. Snap out of it. You're wake falling up, for it. Wake up. You're falling for it. Snap out of it. Holy shit. Oh, look, oh, look, they gave me. A note. They gave a fucking note. I can write a note. Oh my God, look at this. It's a brownie! They gave us the welcome card. Yeah, they gave did us welcome card. Ah! Did you guys Snap get these? Out of it! Yes! <laughs> yeah, we did. I also got this. Okay! Yeah, we got Is this that one. all it takes to buy your loyalty? <laughs> You're guys. cheap! I almost didn't upload this video because it felt like bullying almost, but I have to keep reminding myself that the 12 tribes and what they're doing is like not okay. It's no issue with the individual because at the end of the day, most of them are just byproducts of their environment. But the community itself, the bigotry they hold, the fear mongering and just the general doomsday that they're building towards is not good. And it's a problem with the whole, right? The fact that they're breeding children in the masses. Each girl in the community has like seven children. And those kids, that's all they know is this community. 
and once you're in a cult, especially born into it, it's like impossible to leave. And so yeah, I hold no ill will towards like the individuals, but more so like the whole, um, yeah, don't join a cult, guys. It's kind of kind of bad. But um, the food at the Yellow Deli is really good. It is. It was. It was good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>